Hi friends, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Fabricate Friday video. I have this really nice little box. It's a fold flat box. So if you wanted to prepare a couple of in advance, sits like that. And I thought it would hold Easter eggs, those Cadbury kinds that I don't have in the house right now or outside eat them. And, or this could be something that you could put in your, you know, for your mom for uh, Mother's Day. All right, I'm going to show you how to make it. So you're going to need a scoreboard and two pieces of five and a half by six. And we're going to score on the long side at one and a half and five and a half. We're going to turn it round and we're going to score at a half two and four and three quarters all right and then the next one same so long side one and a half and five and a half flip and we're going to score at a half two and four and three quarters so i'm going to fold and burnish all of my score lines I'm using Whisper White Thick today. All right, so that's one side. And so what we have to be mindful of is that the uh, next side is going to adhere here to there. So I'm going to actually fold it on the opposite way that I scored it, which is a little different. I don't normally do that tends to warp the paper a little bit but that way I remember which way is supposed to go okay this whisper white cardstock is pretty thick all right so that's pretty much how we're going to put it together so let me get cutting here we're going to cut off this triangle and rectangle and we're going to wedge that a little bit we're going to wedge this part here and then we're going to go straight up now you can use your trimmer for this if you're worried about not getting a the right cut okay and then straight down here we're going to cut off about as much as we had there and just wedge it out okay so that's one side and now we're going to do the same sort of thing we're going to wedge here and straight down this long side and wedge this little tab out and wedge this little tab out and then wedge here and take off this little square and rectangle and same with this one we're going to go straight down here cut off about half of what we have and then just wedge it out okay now we'll have that I'm going to take my corner rounder now Stampin' Up! does sell one it's called the Pro Project Life Corner Rounder it's really handy to have a corner rounder around I have this one this was EK success and I had it for a very long time so until it breaks I'm not going to replace it all right so 
we're going to do some decorating first. Uh, however, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll put the box together first, or well, at least part, part of it. So how I do that is I'm going to line my score line up with a line here on my craft sheet, craft mat, and the score line here, just to make sure that I'm nice and square. Okay. So this, let's see how we're going to put this together. So this, yeah. So this is the front and this is the back. So I have a piece of designer series paper or pattern paper and the front and back are three and seven eighths by two and five eighths. Had to look that up. And what I did for this little strip is I just had a uh, three quarters of an inch of some extra pattern paper and kind of just going to eyeball it here more. And then I just put, I mean, this is like an extra embellishment for sure. You don't have to, but, um, I liked the gingham. I just don't like a lot of gingham. So a little strip here kind of makes it look like a ribbon, breaks it up and it's a little fun. Okay. And then just a little bit of fast fuse. You could use snail too, cause it's paper to paper. And so you need two of those. And then for the sides, you need um, one and three eighths this way and two and five eighths this way. And you need two of those. And the last piece is the lid. And that is three and seven eighths by one and three eighths. And I did put gingham on both edges. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the box together. A Little bit of fast fuse here. Flip that over, whoops, like that. Make sure it's got a nice seal. The back is gonna go in. Oh, and don't forget, we're gonna take um, a ruler here and at two inch mark, I'm gonna make a little tick with a pen or something here. Then I'm going to take my three quarter inch punch and put that tick in the middle and there's our little nail hole so that the recipient can open it easily. So, there we go. And I got um, a little bit of gingham and a little bit of extra whisper white and I stamped You're Amazing. And this stamp comes from the watercolor wishes stamp set that comes in a kit and the kit is $46 you get a block and you get a whole bunch of cards and you get this stamp set so you get a lot of sentiments and yeah it's a great kit it's in the catalog $46 and you get like even an acrylic block and I think you get ink too so it's something to it's something to consider. All right, so this is with Tip Top Taupe. This is the O Succulent uh, Designer Series paper. And this is with Whisper White and same pattern paper, just a different colorway. It's really cute. Which one do you like better? I think I like the white one better. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website, 
or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.